Hello everyone, welcome to our new episode of Data Analytics Podcast. And today's topic for the podcast is Data Governance. And we are having our very special guest Anjali Kumar once again. Welcome Anjali, welcome once again to our new episode. Hi Prima. Hello Anjali. So uh, I just wanted to know, like we have heard a lot of hype around data governance. So could you tell me what it is all about? So data governance, as I as I say multiple times, it's not the it's not a new term, but yeah, with the uh, the, the way uh, the data and the, the amount of data we are storing on the cloud and from different sources, and the and, and, and the new system which is like they are generating massive data, it's, it has become a very important uh, uh, thing for today world. There are hundreds of ETL pipeline people have built across the globe as part of data engineering team but now it's becoming very difficult for them to manage because data is in silos silos and and people are you know uh, using the same data again and again there is no trust in the management that is that data that they are using for the analytics is correct or not there are security breaches that has happened a lot in the in the past and and there are a lot of regulation from different government and different part different countries that has come up and, and you know more than billions of you know uh, dollar companies have paid because of the data breach and why this has all happened because we have developed a lot of software applications tool that consume data from customer which are which which can be you know con- considered as a personal identify identifiable information like you know social security number in india aadhar card number or you know uh, maybe the pan card number the phone and the email and the name and that if, if that get hacked and get get you know start start uh, getting sold into you know um, uh, the odd market um, it, it becomes you know a dark web also it becomes a big problem for all the company and the people who have already trusted uh, an organization for any services that they have taken and they have given their data so data governance is about you know uh, controlling all of these things in a much better way, in an automated way now, because that was there in the past, but it was not so much automated. Everyone was doing uh, a bit of data governance everywhere. It, it has been a bigger concern for all the organizations, but nowadays it has become more, you know, often and more, you know, uh, more uh, needed kind of thing. So there, there are certain things that uh, that are very important as part of data governance to consider for. First is the private, your data that you are collecting is private or not to to the person who is who need to access that data. It's not being accessible by everybody who is not who is not authorized to access it. Second thing is is your data encrypted, right? Or is your data masked? Is your data has whichever data which is you know a personally identifying identifiable information uh, or not? Right. So it, in terms of that, let's say the phone number, name, email combination, anything that can identify a human being should be masked at a level and should be, you know, uh, uh, encrypted at a point uh, where it's required. And data when moving from one department to another because of the need of the process, it's being archived, removed, deleted when it's not of a purpose. So these kind of things are very important. Other than that, for data governance, nowadays, and and even in the past, automated, augmented, I would say, data cataloging is important. Whatever the data that you store and collect in your warehouse, in your data lake, it should be, you know, automated and searchable, and you are able to define a catalog of your data and the attribute and catalog of your data, whatever you are collecting, that anyone can search find out who is the owner of that data is that data is a golden source or, or the source of data data is coming from that golden source if not then someone can you know automatically vote for it that is that that, that is correct or not so that anyone consuming that data beyond that point is using the correct you know source of data for their analytics need and all another important thing is uh, around handling metadata in in many of the world uh, in, in many of the you know data warehousing project People do not care about metadata. Right? They just do some ETL work and then they will forget, or they will just complete their client work and then and then go on. And that becomes, you know, uh, slowly become all those all the junks get collected, 
and and they are of, they are of a useless kind of thing after you know six months seven months or one year when the context has gone or has been lost and again they will have to do and re-engineer the same thing similarly the you know uh, so metadata is very important it's like you know collecting the information about your data that even if you don't open the data you are able to identify that whether it's a personal identified information uh, who created it for whom this is being you know marked for uh, what is what are the type of data like uh, which is there what is the characteristic of the data that all metadata can define and you know explain about that and that actually combines with the catalog and become a very important point or important uh, you know uh, 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 object for anyone to consume it other important thing is around the handling the master data master data management it has been a challenge for many companies like let's say there is an employee uh, you know uh, uh, number or employee name so employee name is central to any organization but if multiple departments are using you know different copies of employee name it's of no use because they can directly use and utilize from a central point when they leave when they join for which department they are working what are so all the data and the characterization categorization of employee should be there in a single database or a single store so so that may be there in a master source but people may be using in a different format in a, or, or or from a different source based on their different need so that like product catalog and there are multiple things uh, there are, are hundreds of you know uh, 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 data uh, specific type of data that categorize as the master data we I, we cannot explain here everything but yes yeah, that's a separate subject in itself it's a big subject and uh, many company has been successful many people has been like they are still you know they have been using it um, the, the 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 fourth and i i think I, I talked about master data i talked about augmentation data catalog and augmented data catalog i talked about you know metadata i talked about privacy and security the fifth thing that i want to talk about is around you know uh, uh, data uh, virtualization data virtualization is something which is like you know uh, uh, your data remains at one point, at a one source, and it's available everywhere. If you try to access your data, access some data, you are able to see all set of data at one point of uh, place. Obviously, you may not have access, and you can ask for access, go into data catalog, go to that data, like owner of the data, and talk to him and get the access to it. And and the last thing, which is very important, there are multiple other things, but I just talked about some important point which you need to tackle around data governance. And obviously, security is the Prime up a, like is the is the is the is the is the is the most important thing that need to be taken care of there and and especially the regulatory activity which is like the different, different governing law by the you know different uh, government which has been applied that's important to handle that out around archiving around removing of data if someone says that remove my data from all part of the organization there is uh, uh, there is one important thing called data lineage that you know. You are able to understand from that where the data has been originated and how that has been used through the organization. If you are able to manage everything in an automated and augmented way, that's the only time or only point when you will be when, when the organization will be utilizing the data. Everyone will be trusting the data that they are storing, they are utilizing, and the management will be happy because you know there will be you know uh, very high quality of analytics or reporting that they can perform on it. And there must be alert over and above it. Data governance is all about you know getting alerts, adding regulation at at your organization level, and there must be alert or or reporting tool which alerts every breach of thing and and then data quality, right? So data quality is one thing that I miss, but it's very important that everyone is giving some data, giving some set of record from different part of the you know uh, department or a vendor is giving. So when you whenever you are collecting the data, it should be tested. And qualified if it's correct to be collected or not, else it's rejected. So this all automated thing, the accelerator actually when put into place, uh, create a, the, the whole you know ecosystem of data governance. And we are also you know uh, being a data organization, we are also you know much focused on it, and we are helping clients at different places to do these things. Thank you so much, Anjani, for sharing your insights into data governance. And thank you so much for sharing your uh, such a nice information. And thank you, everyone, for watching this video. And we will meet in our next episode. And th thank, thank you, thank you, again. thank you from my side also. And uh, definitely, we'll come up with you know short session on on different topic that we discuss with example to hand it out or or to make you understand on each of this topic. Thank thank you once again.